creator in the public one here. And I want to show you, particularly in this little clip, some uh, some tactical moves that are made and the why about them. And hopefully, it'll help you guys become a better overall 33 player. But if you look, I formed the double musket line. Now, there are rare circumstances when you can do this. And in this case, we have only melee classes. Mason has used most of his bombs, so a doubled up musket line is actually perfect. It provides the most firepower and it prevents the enemy from penetrating the line. Now there's a disadvantage to this. If they were musketeers, they just bomb they just bomb the um they bomb the hell out of the middle in particular and they just kill six units at once. But they don't have range units, they don't have musketeers. Um musketeer pirates in particular, and not a whole lot of musketeers in general. So uh, this part, they're going to do a charge. Now this is one of the, one of the times when I will actually disagree with um, something that Chris does. Chris has an amazing win rate, by the way. But this is one of the times that I think he truly messed up. All right, now this part, he's trying to bypass the Overwatch, at least so I assume with his Nausicaa. He puts a four on Nausicaa. You can see my uh, pirate takes off quite a bit of uh, Nausicaa's health, and my pirate is also forwarded. Or at least have a has a um has a veil or shield on. So they're going to do that little that little part right there. As soon as they're done, um, you'll see the next part of Chris's move. And they're still going. Chantel hits, gets a couple chains off. Actually, quite a bit of decent damage. Surprisingly, now Nausicaa is already down to half. And one starts to wonder, was it really worth it at all? Then Chris sends in his Goro, bypasses Overwatch. Good move as far as that goes. I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, unfortunately, his Goro doesn't chain, but if you realize what he just did there, is he exchanged, let's just assume that this was successful. He would have exchanged a Chantel for a Goro and a Nazca and a Fort. Now, in my opinion, that's not really a good exchange. Now, I'm assuming that's what he intended. Now, we have um, something else I want to point out is you have uh, Glenn there, or I'll just call him Jasmine Morgan because that's his pirate's name. He's in a rather precarious position. I could Inferno shot him, I could bomb him, well, my pirates, I could scatter blast him. Um, if if I'm extremely lucky, I could possibly kill him right there. Now, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to poison that group, and he's going to try and purge. Okay, I get that. But you have to you have to think about what the opponent is doing as well. You have to. He doesn't even have a Veil or Shield on. Now, a simple Veil or Shield here could be enough to really save him, you know. In fact, it would prevent him from dying. Just that little simple thing right there would. So that's all they really need to do. I get that he is trying to purge them, though. There we go. And it's good to make sure that a unit dies. I do this very well, particularly on Goro. I focus most of my fire on Goro to make sure he dies. And uh, I have enough solid hits um, on Nausicaa as well. Also know that the chains will carry over. There we go. That's to prevent uh, Chris from charging in after Glenn purges. And to set up for possibly a kill on Jasmine Morgan. Scatter Blast so that my units will hit. I uh, ensure the kill with Contessa. Hit and backstab. Yeah, I know. A bit of overkill. And there we go. Both those units are dead. The charge was definitely not worth it. Um, Glenn is in a precarious position. If he's smart, he'll put at least a Veil or Shield on, or Heal, or something. Um, or someone else will do that for him. We'll see what happens in just a bit. Alright, my pet joins. Now this match actually never got finished, because, well... Um, I don't know, someone decided to pull the internet in my house, so, uh, literally, though, you'll, you'll see it go out in just a bit. But you can see how I would have killed, uh, Glenn here in particular. Guys, when you're setting up 
a plan. It doesn't matter how good the plan is. If the other person can counter it, or if you don't coordinate your plan well enough, it doesn't matter. It will cause you to lose. In fact, it's often better to have a simple, decisive plan and just react to what the opponent does. Really, that's that's usually how I get beaten as well. I'll face these guys and they have a simple, decisive plan. They react to what I do and they beat me. They have beat me several times. So it's been a, it's been a back and forth as far as this goes. Um, and I would say they're quite possibly um, the best 3v3 team. And yeah, I'm, I'm climbing back to the top slowly. So it's good to strive to be the best. All right, there we go. He poisons that group. And yeah. And this is where I lose connection. As you can see, he ne never got forwarded. He only has two thirds of his health. It would be easy to just bomb him, um, Inferno shot him, uh, Canister shot him, and just use all my Bonnie Scatter Blasts, and he would be dead, okay? No doubt about it. And yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully, you guys learned something, um, and I hope to see you guys in the Spar Chamber and around the Spiral. So, peace out for now.